John, thank you for your question this week in week three of Media Studies R&D. And uh, I'll keep it short. Uh, CEOs are in the business of uh, saying all the right things and never saying the wrong things. Uh, lest they risk their livelihoods. And so they answer to quite often the board of directors, and so they're always going to put on a strong front, uh, especially in the press. They're going to do things that are going to portray confidence, okay? So that's a learning lesson for us. They are putting out confidence because they aren't wanting, they're not only wanting people to buy stock in that publicly traded media company, they are not wanting their uh, stakeholders to be selling off uh, in large uh, quantities, right? And then the pro value of the company decreases and so on, right? So, so this is that tricky, that tricky business that we find ourselves in when media companies get too large is, well, if they're publicly traded, then, you know, you're not only answering to the laws and rules of programming or ethics or whatever, you're also looking into issues relating to, uh, you know, the, the market, right? As in the stock market. And, um, that's, that's tricky business as well. So, uh, the CEOs, let's see, what would they do to plan to control cord cutters? You know what? The best strategies are they're going to look at all options. They're going to put them all on the table and they're going to, you know, the smartest ones will say, we're going to diversify, right? Diversification. That's a big word in portfolio speak, right? Uh, and they're going to try to, they're not going, they don't need to be going in one direction. They need to be looking in multiple directions. At the same time, they're in the business of television, so they should, they should still stick to their guns and uh, do do what they do well and uh, also there's always going to be price hikes okay so uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about these extremely well-paid CEOs thanks